When we started the Literary Festival, we had a very clear idea in mind of what we were trying to achieve. Focus is different in the sense, I think, that it understands the marriage between culture and literature, but in a way that seems seamless, natural. There was no forum where we could bring Caribbean writers together. There was no prize, there was no one festival that catered just for Caribbean writing. This is the space where young writers get to learn new things, meet some of their mentors, get to network with other writers, editors, publishers. People were reading, but there wasn't a sense that people were reading. People were writing, but there was nowhere for people to actually read their work in public or to share their work with other writers. This is not only a space where they get to encounter what, it, what literature means in their space in the Caribbean, but get to make work that actually adds up to that. You're taking literature away from its um, sort of elite status and giving it back to the community, bringing the community in. Literature is a way of thinking very fundamentally about our lives. Uh, it becomes a source of kind of independent thought from the Caribbean, you know, so, the, so the, the role is really that it's a thought and that we shouldn't always be borrowing our thought from elsewhere. I think it is so important for us to have this celebration of Caribbean writing, Caribbean speech, performance, so every day is just a wonderful feast. You have writers here who are uh, in Tor from Toronto, from Montreal, from the UK, it's a wonderful way to have both a local and international presence. Whenever I have the opportunity to like think about the work that literature does in the world, how it brings kind of communities together, or it brings ideas together, or it brings human beings who would not normally be together together. It's kind of a wonderful congregation, and you can take that in a secular or religious sense, but it's wonderful to get everyone together. If you look just over our shoulders, we've got this huge continent uh, Spanish-speaking continent of Nobel Prize winning writers of a huge industry in books and ideas and uh, that's something that we want to reconnect with. Creo que es importantísimo como trabajamos en diferentes islas, en diferentes idiomas, en diferentes culturas, diferentes tradiciones literarias, tener la oportunidad de unirnos, de, de hablar eh, sobre lo que nos acerca, sobre las cosas que tenemos en común y esto ofrece una gran oportunidad para este tipo de conversación. We have that lovely expression, mouth open, story jump out. And of course, Bocas Lit Fest is very much about drawing on our oral tradition. Every year we try to do something with the Midnight Robbers, with Extempo, with Calypso, with Rhyme, you know, with all those sorts of things, rap. So all those things are about words and the love of words and what words do, which is express ideas. The storytelling caravan, we go all over the country, uh, visiting places uh, like Mayaro, Toko, Grand River. We meet children, we go to homes as well. The storytellers tell a story and then we discuss the, the format of creating stories with the children and then we say, okay, we've got a title here. How about making your own story? We have um, two main prizes that we run. One is the OCM Bocas Prize. OCM standing for One Caribbean Media were the sponsors. And that prize was important in establishing the festival in the first place. So the OCM Bocas Prize is important because it establishes that we've got very fine writers who can do wonderful things. Like Marlon James won the fiction category for Bocas in April of 2015. And in September of 2015, he went on to win the Man Booker Prize, okay? So yes, we prove excellence in literature through the OCM Bocas Prize. We got another great prize called Code's Burt Award for Young Adult Writing. Code is the donor of the prize, a Canadian charity. This prize guarantees each winner, in their three each year, 2,500 copies bought and distributed throughout the region. In addition, you get a cash prize and you get your book published. So just with that prize, we're affecting the whole of the ecosystem. And you're actually also promoting the infrastructure of the whole business. The First Citizens National Poetry Sam is the closing event of the NGC Bocas Lit Fest. And it belongs there as the closing event because it is a grand celebration of spoken word and performance. 14 poets given the best and buying for a $20,000 grand prize and to be the national spoken word champion. It brings people from all different groups in society together 
to listen and celebrate literature for one last time. 1200 of us gather together even more to close off the festival in fine style.